Hey guys, what is going on? Today I'm going to show you how to make this banner right here. Uh, a lot of you wanted to uh, see a kind of tutorial of a step to step uh, guide of how to create this. Um, it's actually quite simple. Um, and I'm going to just basically show you how to do it. Um, I'm going to use the same color color scheme I used for this. Uh, and it's these these through five colors here. Um, if you want to know how I got these colors or how I got the color scheme, uh, I, use a, I use a website called Adobe Color. And it basically just goes through. Uh, and I think people submit like color schemes they like. Um, you can use your own color scheme if you want. But I just find this really helpful when I can't think of what colors to use. I just go through this, spot some colors that I like. Like this one's quite cool. Um, a lot of like contrasting colors. Um, but yeah, that's what I do for colors. Um, so let's try and recreate this. Um, so for the circles or the, the splodges, I call them, I used a red. So I used this red right here. I use this red and let's just go with this. Uh, if you want to know the color, the color numbers or the black, I don't, I don't really know what they're called. Um, that's the one for the, the kind of darkish blue, and that's the one for the red. Okay, so the first thing I did, go up to the elliptical marquee tool, uh, hold shift and drag upwards to create a circle, the perfect sphere. And you want to go to the gradient marquee, to, uh, gradient marquee tool, the gradient uh, tool, and you want to find this. It should automatically put it on because you put them into your uh, swatches. Um, and then you want to make sure you're on radial and then literally just create a new layer and just go across it. Uh, I want to get like almost half half. So kind of like that, yeah. Uh, and then you want to click off here. And then you want to go into filter. Actually, you want to, you want to duplicate that first because you want to have one to do more of these. So you want to go to fin filter uh, and then go down to distort wave. And then from here, you can create these like cool wave kind of things that people wanted to know how to make. So that is basically how you do it. You just play around with that and see what you get. Okay, so, and also on this uh, a header, I have, it's kind of like dotted and it looks, I kind of like how it looks um, when you add noise to this. So if you go up to filter again, you go to noise and you just add noise. Uh, I have it on 4.5 at the moment because of the size of the banner. Um, press OK. I just think that it makes it look like almost like it kind of splits up the color, so it's not just blocked color. It makes it look a lot nicer. Um, uh, anything else you need to know? Um, to create these lines going through, going through the backing. Um, let's just. I can put. A, what I'll do is I'll put a download link of this into the description once we reach like 50 likes or something like that. Um, so you guys can download this. Um, yeah, if you reach 50 likes, you get the download. Um, what is happening here? So, where is it? So this line here is simply created by uh, using the pen tool uh, and just doing this. If you just turn off fill and put on a stroke or like white or red, <laughs> I, it chose red, so we'll do red. Um, so yeah, you just put that on. And yeah, that creates the line in the back. Um, anything else that you need to know? The font that I used, um, let's just highlight that. It's called Montserrat. Uh, it's a free font and it comes with like thin extra light all the all the variations of the font it's a really nice font for like simple um it's a, it's a really like simple font to use against an abstract background um which really brings kind of the simplistic back to the to the banner and makes it look really nice if i used like a really fancy font maybe it would look uh thrown it off made it look a bit weird um but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, 
that's not there's not much else I can show you. Uh, these little O's here are literally just O's from the same font. Um, something I've I've like really liked recently, and I was gonna do it in this banner. Um, I think you can see that in this in the speed up. But something I really 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 like is when you have um, lots of like letters in line. So these would all say different things. Um, it takes a while to line them up because look, if I do, uh, that's not even, that's a rasterized layer, so I can't even apply more text to that. But yeah, I like like really like layered text. It looks really kind of simplistically strange, I would call it. I don't know. It looks really like, it's like in right now and it's you're seeing it a lot in different designers like work and stuff. Uh, and it looks really nice. But the next uh, header uh, I'll post will probably be ooh, like Monday or something like that. And uh, yeah, if you want me to make tutorials for every header I do, then please leave a thumbs up on the video. Um, I'm really looking to do more tutorials in the future, but as you can probably hear, my microphone isn't the best um, and I will probably invest in a new one. Uh, I've put my donation link in the description below just in case anyone wants to support me or support what I do um, then feel free I'm not <laughs> saying it's a it's a, it's a compulsory but yeah if, if you if you would like to support what I do um, and if you feel like the tutorials I'm making are helping your design um, and furthering you maybe you want to support me I don't know um, it would be nice if you could um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one.